I have one message code here with another asset store review. I am floating over the Cartoon Town Pack from Rossini. I'm inside this wonderful hot air balloon that they've provided to us for our journey. So I hope you're sitting comfortably. Look at all these sweets everywhere. It's a candy filled utopia. So sit back, enjoy. And I hope you're going to be brushing your teeth after this video. I'll see you all in a second. I have one messy coder here playing about with the cartoon towel pack from Rossini. This is retailing at $59.99 $59 on the Unity Asset Store. That's one cent shy of 60 bucks. It's a beautiful cartoon pack. I really do enjoy the style of it, and I think it will work well on mobile as well as a desktop game because there's enough attention to detail in this pack that you can actually walk around as an FPS or not a third person up close as well if you really wanted. I'm thinking of doing something flunky with one of these with this pack in a game where I would just walk around like this view. Beep boop boop. I like that make a massive world. There's enough tileable pieces in here that you can create a huge world. It would be cool if we had a bit more variation for the greenery, so we can have like a well, you know, a bit low poly style with um greenery that goes up a little bit, like a little hill. That'd be cool. We do have a way to get slopes. So if we go over to the road, if we go into the prefabs folder and I go to road here and I look at the paths, you can see we've got slopey bits here. So that's funky. I'd like to see if we go to, uh, where's the ground? Where's the ground? Floor, let's call it floor. If we go to the grass floor, we do have slopey bits here, but we'd have to sit here and change them ourselves for the color, which is cool. We can get away with that, but if I was to, Throw this in here, for, say there, and then let's throw uh, another one here. So we could obviously always put snapping on. You could get away with that. Have the top part as one color, the bottom half as another one, and then you've got here the top. Boom! Put the top on it, and away you go. As I say, if you're going to be playing about with this, do make sure that you put your snapping on. Don't just do what I just did there, but for the sake of three seconds of me just showing you what I mean, there you go. It does all fit perfectly together. Trust me on that. I would like to have maybe some bits where it's in here, like it goes up a bit and then there. I could have a little bit of variation. But that doesn't seem to be the style that they're going for this pack. I'm just being a little bit picky. We've got it over here on the beach though, which is odd. So you've got it with the beach, you see here? So if you were being really clever, you could just throw the green material on this one and away you go. You could do. Remember, when you buy an asset, you're buying it so you can customize it for your needs. I'm a little bit lazy sometimes. I like to have bits thrown in. Talking about what we get thrown in, there's a lot of stuff you get in this pack. There's a lot of buildings, a lot of buildings in this pack, and a varied style as well. Let's go, gonna zoom in, boop, it's over here. Get another view. Look at this view here. If I were just playing this game, look at that view. Is that, that, that town looks like it's alive. Let's probably back into the props folder, or in the props folder, into the prefabs folder, even, and have a look at these buildings. I'm just gonna drag you over here and make you a bit bigger, and we click on this house. There we go. Look at that. So here's one house with one style house. We've got three different styles. Lovely, joyful, cartoony houses that they've got. A few different colours in there. We've got this house here. It's an orangey house. This one here with the chimney that comes out here. And they've got two sides, either sides of this house. Round windows. We've got only one side came out here with the chimney. And there's the other style. I'd like to see maybe a fourth or fifth style of house. But I'm greedy. A very greedy man. We've got a hospital. Poor little hospital like to have seen like an add-on for this hospital we can extend it that'd be nice We've got a hotel again a bit of a small hotel it says here that it's a five-star hotel but there's no swimming pool or jacuzzi i'm not sure how many guests we would get in this hotel hotel could be a bit bigger lighthouse funky looking lighthouse love it police station we've got two types of police station we've got time here with two lights and time here with just one light i'm not too sure what the other differences are think that might actually be it one of the shames i've got is that you can't actually change the signage on the shop you can change the sign some of them have got little signs that are separate but you can't change the writing 
here's the town hall. See, the town hall is a size that you could have extended the hotel to. Train station, it's more like this little train um, stop rather than a station. I like to have a depot. So you could actually change the town hall to be the train station. You got a windmill here, this style of windmill, and another style, which is whoop. Well, the next one is just the same, but different colour. And we've got a nice collection of shops. We've got a beauty parlour, be beautiful. We've got a candy shop. You got a coffee shop. We got another coffee shop with a top that's blue. We got a fashion clothing shop. We got a food cart. I thought this was ice cream, but it makes sense that it's free because if it was like ice cream, it'll be dripping down, wouldn't it? Gardening. What's it called? I would say this is a flower shop. Hypermarket. We've got ice cream cart. There we go. They're all this level, so the ice cream doesn't go everywhere. You got a little kiosk if you want to go in and get your newspaper and your. And your cookies and stuff, and your sweets for the kids. Got a Harry Potter style magic shop. It has a cat and a spider on it. We're going to pop over and have a look at the animals in a second. We've got a mail slash bank, which is a post office with an ATM machine and a telephone. Talking about detail, it's got the little buttons on the telephones as well. Got miscellaneous shops with no names on the signs. So you can, if you were able to add a name on it, that's cool. And a pawn shop, restaurant, well this one's this, no real estate here. And down the bottom here is our burger restaurant. We've got some farming, we've got the field, we've got a little flowers starting to, to bud here, the green plants. And then you could go up and it's grown some corn, or you could say it's grown some beet. I'm not too sure you could say it's grown some wheat from those ones. We've got fences, enough fences to get you going. Also, we saw earlier the floor pieces, so we've got the sandy slope. I'd like to, okay, I'll change the colour of this and be able to use this for the hills as well. There's no reason why not. There's no reason why you can't. There's the grass with the muddy bits on there. Our ponds. Do we have a pond that's actually be able to extend? No, nope, the ponds all just end up here. That's a shame. We should have an open ended pond. But I suppose you could do that with the water. But then, where's the endage? So there's the water there. We would need to have the the pond like here, cut there, boom, let it go across, and then have a corner pieces of it. That would have been funky. Can't see anything like that there. If it's there, I can't see it. Nice collection of flowers. And we've got a little field of flowers as well. Let's take a look at the trees we've got here. Palm tree. We've got a bright tree, it's called. There's a pine bright tree. And a dark pine tree. One with snow on the top. One with one bit of snow, this one's got two bits of snow. Although, you would have thought the names would be the other way around. That snow two would have the two bits, the snow one would have the one bit. Odd. Okay. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Again, you know, it's interesting that you've got like this, but you could have just done it with a tree and use the material, use a shader to add snow on. We've got a big tree, we've got trees called two crowns, that's because of these bits. I thought this would be a branch, but now it's got a crown. Ignore this bit, kind of background. This one's got bubbles on it. Think bubbles. Apples. Juicy apples, lemons, oranges, uh, plums, three crowns, three dark crowns. Although, look, it's called dark, but it's slightly taller as well. This one's got four crowns. Four crowns, but. And two crowns again. This one's got three. It's like a, it's like a man waving at you. Hello, I've got big hair and got gloves on. Got three trees, simple one, stripey one, and pinks and yellows. Again, you know what I'm going to say. If we could just edit these colours, it would be funky. And trunks, lanterns. We've actually got another folder called lanterns because there's a bit of a spanning mistake there. And we've got a load of props. Balloons! I do love balloons. Garbage cans. Gifts. And a present. There's a lovely hot air balloon. And a skull. Just to make the kids have nightmares. Some shells. And umbrellas. Outside your restaurants. Funky, and I promised you some animals. Here you go. You got a spider for the Harry Potter world. A pig for the farm. Chicken. Some different cats. Meow. Meow. And two little birdies. Blue bird and the yellow bird. Now if we pop over to the animations, you can see the cat idle. Now throwing a cat there, if I click play, he's just breathing heavily. I'd like to have seen this tail swishing about and the ears twitching, but we don't have a wig. 
on these cats so you can't sit there animating him having his tail swishing and the bird just jumping about the place so if I go to bird idle and throw in a birdie let's throw in the birdie and click play he's just jumping that bird's crazy but I like to see little changes I like to see more animals more animations I like to see the signage be able to come off the shops and, and also to be able to extend like we put end to the hospital make it bigger likewise with the hotel you know what if they just made uh, an extension pieces we could use those extension pieces for the hotel and the hospital and whatever else we wanted to throw at it because you can have the top and the material so you can change the color couldn't you so then the bottom would still be white and the top you could just change it to whatever color for the top of the building that you're going to be doing that would be nice if we pop over here and we have a look at the shader here you can see that we've just got one so it would be cool if this was separated if there was like a custom shader on here where you were able to chop up and change the colors to change the roofs and the building and the colors as well through just changing here i mean there's enough assets on the asset store that allows us to do that ourselves so we could throw that in and customize these but it would be so funky to have it out of the box wouldn't it so right, funky let's go for a little bit of a fly so we pop down here in this beautiful cartoon world that does feel like somewhere the Hansel and Gretel would have a lot of fun the choo choo train in the background maybe there's a lot of attention to detail that you could easily be in a first person game there aren't any people though so I do this pack but you could throw Cinti, the simple Cinti stuff and they would fit in nicely in here as well there's a lot of cartoon people on the asset store that would work well in this pack I would like to see like I said a few more animals in here that would be funky you know what I'm greedy I like to see some interiors we don't have any interiors in this pack but it's just me I'm being very picky if I wanted to say one of the interiors in there it is a fun pack we've got little lake here little ponds I'd like to see if we can extend those ponds make them bigger maybe make the roads a bit bigger make like double-sided laned two lane roads that'd be cool with some lane markings on the roads as extra road pieces that would be funky <laughs> i can't get over the, the fact that this is a hotel it is a cartoon town though it, it does feel like the town is something like for something like this or even you could have some kind of town um sim town game with this cartoon town it's just funky we've got a boat rocking here at sea that's cool here's attention to detail look buttons on the phone buttons on the atm that's cool let's walk around beauty shop it's i've got a massive smile on my face honestly i've got a massive smile on my face as i'm walking around here now this pack was gifted to me from the artists from the developers the publishers on the store really do appreciate that now as i said before it's because i get given a gift every now and again to review doesn't mean I won't highlight the things that I want changed or I might not be happy with for example we've got a choo choo train which is a fantastic choo choo train but he's got those are bits on the top that's supposed to run along electric wires but I don't have any electric wires in this pack it would have been cool to add them maybe with a little bit of a sagging through them but they're not here so you can't really just plonk this down and run it run it along you could add it quite easily ourselves but a little bit of an extra addition would be nice to have from the pack. Likewise, vehicles. We have a shot that there was no vehicles in here, and that there was such a small collection of animals, and the animation on the animals as well. Hello, little birdie. You want more friends, don't you? Yes, I do, Missy. See, even little birdie wants some more friends. So the ability to extend the uh, buildings, like this part here. This is great. We could add this onto any other building but it's just one small part we could have bits like this with more windows so we can extend them and as i say make the shader so you can customize the color on it so it can actually match anything that we wanted to add it to other than that i think this pack is fun it is a lot of fun i'm gonna i'm gonna actually make some games with it i'm gonna enjoy myself I'm shocked that actually all these sweets and unhealthy treats around we don't actually have any dentist in this town that's right we've got all these sweets okay we've got some nice healthy apples and lemons we've got oranges and there's no oranges and lemons we've got bells ah some clemens we've got no dentist around here 
Oh, these poor people with all these sweeties all over the place. Oh, no. I suppose in Candyland, they don't know, think about having their teeth pulled out. Oh, yeah. oh, I'll tell you what, they probably go to this Harry Potter shop and piff puff puff. Oh, all the cavities get zapped away. That's what happens, obviously. And then they have a nice time over at the beach. And they play about in their boat and go fishing. Ah, oh, what a magical world. And let's go float up to the hot air balloon with the clouds. There's the hot air balloon flying high above the town. There we go. That's what the view that we're looking for, isn't it? With a choo choo train going past. So, if you do like this video and you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button that's down below. Also, click on that bell because it notifies you when videos go live. Because apparently, click on the subscribe isn't good enough for YouTube. No, no, you need to actually doubly say, Yeah, we do want to know. So, click on that bell. And also, don't be shy. Click on that like button. I know you've watched it, so click like if you like it. And click don't like if you don't like it. It's alright to say you don't like something, but if you are going to click that thumbs down, do leave a comment to explain why, and that way, hopefully, the next video will be better, and you do like it. And if you have found something that you like in this pack, in this video, then why not put a comment down there as well? Because you know what? It makes people happy to read your community feedback. Makes me happy, I'll tell you that. It makes my kids happy too, because I read it to them. It's their bedtime story. They go to bed, I'll read them the, the YouTube comments. What a great dad I am. Right, all aboard the train. Joe Joe, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.